So the other day I went to the salon and I got these gorgeous snails that I absolutely love. They're a bit long and they're uncomfortable, so I want to cut them. I don't want to have to go back to the salon, pay some extra money just to have them cut down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them myself. I'm going to teach you how you can do it yourself too. All you need is a regular nail cutter and a file and the same color of nail polish. Okay. And we're going to get okay. started. So we set it up, our little nail cutter. And when we start cutting our nails, we don't want to cut two in the center at first. We want to start at the edge. Okay, that way it doesn't shatter the nail going down like this, which can happen. Trust me, I've tried cutting acrylic nails with scissors and that was a mess. It messed up the whole acrylic. So we're going to start from the side. And you want to make sure that you just cut a little bit at first. You could always file it down more. There. Okay. And then on the other side. Boom. Then what you want to do is just pull it back. Okay. Just cut it a little bit there. Right over there. Okay. And we're just going to file it down. Start on the sides. And then go to the center. Okay. Let's just first cut them all and then we can get to filing them. Only the thumb is the thickest one there. Boom. Thing almost came apart there. Boom. Boom. Okay, now they look all raggedy and uneven, not very pretty. So that's when you're going to want to file it down. You file it down. What I do recommend is getting a really good nail file. Like the little tiny ones I have here, they're doing the job, but there's some out there that can do the job a lot better. And and since you know acrylic nails are a lot tougher than regular nails, filing them isn't going to be as easy. It's going to take a while. So you want to make sure that the file you have on you, if possible, is a really good one. Sturdy one, not that bends like this one. See, this one's a little bit harder to bend. Okay, before, after. A lot more practical now. I can type. I can live my life. Finally, okay, so I'm gonna pull it just one coat is enough One nice coat and if you want them to look longer, here's a trick You're gonna extend the coat all the way down to the cuticle And then just you can just grab a q-tip and then just kind of like make it look smooth I've been a nail biter since I was a kid, so acrylics are my best friend. Boom. Okay, so I'm all done. I just finished filing and painting all of my nails. As you can see, they're a lot shorter than they were before, and they're also a lot more practical than they were before. I'm going to be able to type a lot faster, do things around the house without being worried that I'm going to hit something and be in excruciating pain. The only thing I regret is this finger right here. It's a lot shorter than my index finger on my left hand, as you can see. But that's probably because I got really, really desperate and I wanted to finish quickly. So guys, take your time. You know, it only takes about 15 minutes to finish it and you won't regret it at the end. It'll look really nice. It'll be a lot more practical. And I just have a question for you if you want to comment on this. I've always wondered about this this finger on my left hand it's called my ring finger right because that's i guess where you put the wedding ring but what about the finger on my right hand the same finger is that called the ring finger as well even if a ring doesn't go there anyways just comment and let me know and i hope you enjoyed the video and that you'll find it useful bye